too bad if you waste it. If you drink, you never notice you don't have a drinking problem until you say you have a drinking problem? Brent you're Shriver, just fun. You're just Seaboard the Sports, you I'm a drinking party, June 21st, drinking. year 2011. Skinny Jesus drink comes up. to stage. Up. Please tip your bar to your, don't forget your shots and your tequila. Skinny Here comes Jesus. your next comic. Put your hands together for Brent Shriver. Come on, clap for Brent Shriver. Skinny Jesus. Skinny Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Seaboard. Woo! Woo! the rest of the crowd that didn't leave doing? Woo! Thank you for staying, it's awesome. I just have to say, because no one else has, I'd like to raise a toast. I don't have a glass, but if I did, it would be Shock Top. Awesome. Ryan Dunn's beard. No, 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 his beard. May I rest in peace. I don't know about that. Where was the first, first Ryan Dunn joke of the night? Brent Schreiber. That's kind of creepy. It's like we're going to Kremlin Ryan Dunn now. We should do like Mystery Science 3000 commentary while during a set. Oh, yeah, I'm not a terrorist in case you thought that. Don't I worry. did. I thought he was no a terrorist. There's no danger of being attacked. I, I could be I Amish, but I use my cell phone too much. <laughs> he stole three shock top glasses. But if anyone can fix my horse buggy, I can get home. I hope he submits this for like Comedy Central. I'm not gay, but I don't have anything yes, against gay people whatsoever. I just wasn't born with those jeans to become gay. Oh, those jeans are gay. But I do love shopping. <laughs> Not the kind of shopping you think, because I don't shop that much. I go with shopping with other people, like females who want to try things on. That's the good kind like of shopping. Like a real man. Yeah. You give your good opinion. Let's go to Victoria's Secret. I'm a dog. <laughs> Music tastes, like, I mean... How can your music taste be gay? That's just... Just because I blast Lady Gaga does not mean I'm gay. On the way here. I can't help what my ear holes want to hear. They want to hear Gaga. Or his asshole wants to be. I have a father. Yeah. And it was his day the other day. I didn't go and see him. Yes, I'm an asshole. But to be fair, when he dies, he told me directly he wants to be stuffed. And hang out in my living room. If I was your father, I would have and killed myself. And get me in the HOV lane. I mean, I told him this would be good for a couple days. Definitely wouldn't claim you. Sorry, I'm not supposed to bug you. It'd be good for a couple days, but uh, once I have kids, you're going in the attic, Dad. <laughs> Stuff you and everything. If you ever has kids, check the side for six six six. That is creepy. <laughs> my dad once told me to pop a pimple on the back of the person's neck I was sitting behind in class. Yeah. I did that and I became friends with that guy. What was this dad doing in his classroom? No joke. I don't know. Apparently he's going to high school. Public bathrooms, they creep me out because I can see when you don't wash your hands. Dave Rudabaugh does not wash his hands. That's my assumption right now. So. I have no proof of that. But you know what's even worse is when you work in an office Why is he with staring bathroom, at people in the bathroom? Because those are the people you can be shaking hands with. I have a list. Wash your as soon as I see them not wash their hands, they're on the list. So if I happen to be getting a promotion and need to shake sure hands with them, they get a fist bump. The Unless they piss on their fist too, because they suck. I'm saying I take much care, better care of my penis than my Working hand. in an office, though, it, it's fun. Except I work in penis. insurance claims for auto accidents. Yeah, it sucks, I know. I hear some stupid shit on the phone where it's thankful penis that I have than a button. Because if I did not have one of those, yeah, I would have said some shit. This joke's going to come out of Example? Nowhere. What's that? What is that? I can try. I can try. You sell it? I insure it. Well, I mean, I claim it. I'm the claim guy. You're driving down the road and a pterodactyl hits your car. Stop using mute. my claim brand. That's That's where the mute button comes in handy because uh, a pterodactyl in 2011 does not make sense. Kind of. 2005. Unmute. Mute a pterodactyl Good time for a in 2011. <laughs> Leave the property with pterodon. Unfortunately, your policy doesn't pterodon, cover. Pterodon, not pterodactyl anymore. Pterodon. <laughs> I think you're fucked. 
I think it's a black person. Another one that bugs me? Black. So you were driving down the road and that Honda Accord came out of nowhere. Was that Zach Scarajello being a pterodactyl? Uh, <laughs> made me laugh a little bit. Mute. Yes. <laughs> out of nowhere. Have you ever been to nowhere? No. Like 23. Me neither. Like, Unmute. You told me they were driving a Honda Accord, but you are now describing a DeLorean. No, sir. I'm sorry. Was Michael J. Fox <laughs> driving? <laughs> and was he shaken up in the seat? He needs to guess it. Tom Wilson. No, no, no. It's okay. Him and I go joke. way, way, way back he was funny. to the future. <laughs> My name's Brent Schreiber. You've been great. Yay, Brent! Give me Jesus! Back in the future. That's great. Here comes your next comic. Put your hands together, make them feel welcome to stage. For Zach, scary.